Hey folks, this is Johnny. Welcome to another home studio trainer show. Voice is a little weak today, so hopefully I'm being uh, clear here when I'm speaking. Uh, today we're going to take a look at advanced tempo detection. And thank you to a post from Ari from Personas in uh, the Studio One group uh, that gave me the clue to finally figure out how this really works well. Um, so let's just go right to the classroom. I'm not gonna dilly-dally here. I'm gonna go up here, I'm gonna create a new song. Dilly-dally, does anybody really say that anymore? <laughs> All right, so the, the thing to remember is that this tempo detection will not only move the tempo track and adjust the tempo track to a song that was recorded to a grid but it will actually take a freestyle song that wasn't even recorded to a click and adjust it to the tempo so that you can bring in loops and samples and everything over it and everything will sync up automatically all right so let's go get a song i'm going to go to file i'm going to go to a song called get out this is by uh me and my a couple of my friends this was done back uh back in 2008 i think it was before i lost my voice i really like my voice on this track by the way all right, so there we go. So here is our song. And let me just go ahead and give you guys just a little sample before we do anything. That's my friend Wayne on the V drums, my friend Mike on his bass, and I'm doing the guitar and vocals. And the uh, guitar distortion is from Empire, actually. All right, so let us do this this way. Let's we'll see if that's Empire. So this song was 2010. This was just before Wayne moved and I lost my voice. All right, so the first thing that we want to do once we actually have our sample in here, or our song in this case... I'm going to right click and I'm going to do detect tempo and it detects the tempo and you can see it places a little diamond now this was the part that confused me I see if I can get this thing to work here there we go uh, I didn't know what this thing was for and what you need to do is let's go ahead and just shorten this up a little bit so the first thing you do before you can get the tempo track to follow the song you have to line up this little yellow diamond with the first or i should say with the nearest downbeat now so the song and the click are going to start at exactly the same point now sometimes it might put this in like you know further down the song looking for the first beat and all you have to do is just line it up with the nearest downbeat. All right, so now you can see I've got the tempo track open here. All I need to do is drag this straight up. And boom, look at this. So now the advanced tempo detection will actually reflect all of the tempo changes in the song with the tempo map. I used to do this manually to get old songs to line up so that I could actually drag in some percussion. So if I turn on the click and I turn it up all the way so that you can hear the click on top of the song, you've got this. You can hear the click. It's perfect. Even on some of the tempo changes. But you don't know what I do sometimes when I don't go. I don't want to feel you, but it's so unreal. I don't ever want to get out, get out, get out of here. Oh, and my friend Wayne sings backup vocals. All right, so now we have our tempo map in a perfectly mapped song. And, excuse me, I'm just going to go to Splice. Now I'm just using, I, I've got, I can do the free trial if I want to, and then this is going to be for another video, but I'm just going to use the sounds uh, in the group of samples and loops that actually come with Studio One's 
uh, splice option. So I could actually sign up, and then I get the whole library, or I can just stick with this. And I think there's like 2,800, maybe even 3,000 different samples that you can choose from even if you don't sign up. But I'll, I'll do that in another video. So the first thing that I want to do is I want to do percussion. And it's going to give me some options. Let's let's listen to a couple. Oh, I think I found it. <laughs> Ooh, that one's good too. I think I'm going to use this one. So I just bring this in, and then um, Studio One downloads from Splice. Close that window. I'm going to stretch this out. So now all I have to do is snap this to the yellow triangle. And now that's the first beat. Let's go back to the top. Here we go. Nice. Let me put this through the whole song if I want to. Just hitting the D key. Alright, I'm going to turn off the click. <laughs> it's a little loud, but I want you guys to hear how it stays synced. And even through all of the crazy tempo changes, because uh, Mike Wayne and I, we couldn't keep a steady tempo if our lives depended on it. And if I go to the end... You can see it sped up back there at the end. And that's it. That is advanced tempo detection. And with a crazy song like this, with all the very minute little tempo changes, it follows perfectly. I did test it with some songs that actually swing really fast and then really slow, and it follows everything. It even slopes some of the slowdowns so that the uh, tempo change isn't so abrupt with whatever sample that you're dragging in. I can go ahead and do, um, I can even drag in samples from like Easy Drummer, um, like uh, some of the MIDI loops to play the drums, and I can just do whole new drum tracks. I can use the stem, uh, the stem separator option in Studio One, separate the stems, turn off the drums that I have, and then change the drums with something from, uh, with something from Easy Drummer and some of their samples. Or I can sit at my V Drum Kit and then go ahead and quantize everything to this tempo or this ever changing tempo. There are so many things that you can do with this tempo option i think this is great um i want to thank personas for coming up with this this is one of my new favorite features i know i'm going to have a bunch actually going between this and the stem separation i think it's awesome all right folks i hope that you guys got something out of that and i do apologize for not having the video up i look atrocious and this is last minute so i wanted to make sure i got this thing out there so very cool all right folks uh hope you guys got something out of this video please leave your comments down below and i will see you all in the next video thanks for checking out this video and if you want to find more home studio trainer content it is very very simple and all of the links are in this description. So if you actually go to hst-homestudiotrainer.com, there is a new Studio One 7 lineup for all the new videos coming out. You can also go to my usual uh, YouTube channel, 
where you will find every new release and every video that I have posted out there. You can go to Rumble. If you're a Rumble user, you will find all of my latest videos and a bunch of Studio One Six videos. You can also go to Patreon if you actually want to support me uh, financially. You can see I've got uh, 44 paid members and I've got 93 total members, a bunch of free members in there. There's all sorts of benefits and things that you'll get that you can't get on any of my other channels. If you like the content that I make on YouTube, but you don't want to subscribe or become Patreon, you can actually go to buy me a coffee and I can go ahead and uh, donate a few bucks to the cause. Really appreciate it. And last but not least, if you're a Facebook user and you want to get some one-on-one -on -one help, you can go to my Facebook page over at HST Home uh, Studio One Support group <laughs> so you can go in there and you can post a question you can get answers pretty quickly there are 5,000 people in there and it's growing slowly but um, most of them are really really helpful so feel free to post a question in there or you can just pm me direct uh, directly there as well all right so i hope you guys found that helpful if you made it through this part of the video thank you very much i do appreciate it and i will see you all in the next video